Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I'll show you how to make line stickers just in 5 minutes. I've received so many requests from you guys to do a tutorial on line stickers, so I decided to put everything you need to know about it and do it just in 5 minutes. I recently made my line stickers of this chubby Amiti Sensei too, and I learned some things during the process of making these stickers, so that's what I want to be sharing with you all today. The app we'll be using today is Procreate, a join app I use all the time. It costs around $11, but it's seriously one of the best apps you can get, so for those who don't have it yet, please download it and create some line stickers together with me today. Okay, let's go ahead and open Procreate. Once you open the app, the first thing to do is to create a white canvas. To do so, start with the plus button at the upper right. But since the size of line stickers is set already, make sure to set the size when creating a canvas. Tap this black button at the upper right here. And this is where you set both the width and the height. But for line stickers, the width and height of the canvas size should be 320 pixels. So start by setting the canvas size here, but this canvas size of 370 x 320 pixels is kind of too small. So what I did was to double the size of both width and height, making it 740 x 640 pixels to work on it. While if you set the canvas size too big, it might not work when you apply later, so you do have to be careful here, but doubling the size should be fine. So please set your 740 x 640 pixels if possible as well. Once you open your canvas, the screen should be like this, and this is where you'll be drawing illustrations one after another. But go back once before you start drawing. Tap this button that says Gallery at the upper left, where it will take you to this page with a list of canvas. So come back here and swipe the canvas you just created to the left. And here you can see the option to duplicate, so do that and now you should have a bunch of the same canvas here like this. And now once you did it, place this canvas on top of the other like this. This way they get kind of grouped, creating this thing called stack and procreate. So just like this, please have many canvas ready. Keep swiping this blank canvas to the left to create a bunch of them. For line stickers, the total number of stickers you can apply is limited. Starting with a minimum set of 8 stickers, you can create 16, 24, 32, or 40 stickers. So choose which set of numbers you want to apply with before you start. Because you can apply with all number of stickers like 9 or 15 stickers, so make sure to decide which set of stickers 8, 16, 24, 32, or 40 you want to create first. Then create the same number of canvas ahead right here. Once you did that, open the canvas and finally start drawing. Okay, so let's start drawing from here. You should see here that is layer 1, and this is where you start drawing. Something to keep in mind when drawing is that don't draw anything here where I'm tracing in blue right now. You don't need to measure anything, but if you draw too much around here, it will be cut off. So make sure to leave some space here. For the brush to use this time, I suggest using either Studio Pen or this brush called Monoline. These brushes help you draw a smooth curved line, and using them I created my MT Sensei stickers. So from here, all you have to do is just keep drawing however you want. Try not to care too much about details as then your stickers would have a weak impact, but since I find it better to have line stickers that's unique and interesting with a strong impact, don't think too much and draw quickly. I drew all the 32 stickers just in 2 days and that's how fast I drew them, and I recommend you do the same. Sorry my hair got in your way on the screen, I was kinda too into it bending forward, but I hope you don't mind. When filling the color, you just need to grab a color from the color picker at the upper right and throw it in like this. And now it's filled with the color, so please do the same. Since you'll be exporting your line stickers with a transparent background, you do have to fill in all parts with the color. As I set the background transparent like this, the face is in color right now and it's not visible. 
So please make sure to fill in with the color as well. So how I do this is to add a new layer from the plus button here and add one below like this. So right now I have the layer of outline at the very top and then this blank layer below that. And there, just grab a white brush to work on her face and the iPad. Okay, this is what it looks like once it's filled with color, and now it's complete. You will export it last, but make sure to set the background transparent before you do that. To export from the gear icon at the upper left, there should be a share button, so click on that and select pin format. As you export in pin format, you can export with the background set transparent. Now set the image. Then, this data should be saved in your camera roll. In the same way, just keep drawing illustrations on another canvas and exporting them in pin format, which will then look like this with a list of line stickers. For my case, I work on all the illustrations first, which then I open each file to export after setting the background transparent. As you do that too, all the stickers will be saved in your camera roll like this. Once you've done these, there's an app called Line Creator Studio, so upload them here to apply to Line. Then, it will enable you to use your original stickers. But let me briefly show you the application process. We have this Line Creator Studio app on the iPad 2, but it just looks like it reflects the app on the iPhone as it is, so I suggest using your iPhone if possible. The application process is pretty straightforward, as you just have to tap the plus button in the middle, and select this option that says choose from your camera roll. Now all you have to do is to upload your stickers you save earlier here with the plus mark. Then you just have to add an image for your thumbnail as well as the title and apply. It takes about 3 days up to a week, the longest, to know whether if it's accepted or not. So as long as it's accepted, you can start using your stickers. Once it's accepted, there should be this share button right here where you can copy URL to share with your friends and they may want to download and use your stickers. I'll put the link to my stickers down below too, so please feel free to download and use them if you can. It's very nice to have your stickers and it will definitely much be you seeing people use your stickers, so please give it a try at least once. Thankfully, people seem to like my line stickers and many people are using them, so I'm thinking of creating a different version. Okay, that was just a brief introduction to how to create line stickers today. But for those who are interested in knowing more about it, including tips for illustrations, stickers that could sell well, as well as the use of Procreate, or if you want to learn about how to make line stickers more in depth, I have an online tutorial on it in my online community called iPadMate. And I actually did a tutorial on line stickers once last month, which was led by one of my members who is extremely good at drawing, and we had so much fun. Since then, many of my members have created their original line stickers like these, with some accepted and some rejected too, unfortunately. But anyway, we have a lot of fun making stickers together in my online community. I'll be doing a tutorial on line stickers again at some point this month or in the beginning of next month, where I'll be teaching you how to make more complex line stickers covering more in depth, and also be sharing many other tips with you all. So if you're interested, it would be great if you could check out my online community as well. Alright, that's all for today. How was it? Please try and make your line stickers. If you can, please try and make your line stickers.
And if you make one, please share it by leaving the link in the comment section down below or share it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag MTSensei. Alright, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up as it really motivates me a lot. And please look forward to my next video. Bye bye!